kids, it's the Bissenden Flyer here. Hope you're well. Really beautiful day today. It's uh, autumn in Blighty. It's uh, just uh, 31st of October, so Halloween. But uh, I've been out on the bike today already and it's such a beautiful day. I came home and thought I'd uh, get the camera out, stick it on the bright and bring you with me because uh, just check out these leaves. Autumn is an uh, absolutely beautiful time of year countryside in Blighty. This year is no exception. And, uh, on a day like today where the weather is fine, it's quite warm for the time of year, it really is an absolute joy to be out on a motorcycle. So stick around, stay tuned and uh, let's see what this autumn ride brings. Everywhere you turn this time of year, it's just transformed into somewhere beautiful. Just check out those leaves. Gorgeous. Now I've told you, or I've spoken to you before about horses, what I think of them on the roads. This is a classic case that in quite a busy spot. This lady is not quite in control of this horse. Look at the traffic she's holding up. Just a minor traffic jam wherever she goes. Anyway, more lovely trees. One of the great things about around this part of the world where I live there's just a huge variety of trees a couple on that hill up there. Absolutely gorgeous. It's about a little street triple, as I mentioned, and uh, I've been riding there now for about a month, I suppose, with these bar end mirrors, and uh, I've gone for the inbound look, turn them in, and uh, just because I think closer. Just because I think they look meaner inbound. They're not quite as functional when they're in. I can see quite a lot of my elbow and not a lot else behind. Hello. But um, they do look great and you can see enough behind to, uh, you know, I don't feel I'm unsafe or anything. So really pleased with those. They're a great little addition to make the bike look mean. The light today is just beautiful. The sun's on its way down obviously and uh, the light is starting to fade but out the shades in these leaves. Very lucky to live in this part of the world. You often take for granted, don't you, where you live yourself and you don't kind of notice what's around you. Especially when you consider this is the southeast of uh, England. We're quite close to London, we're only about 30 miles from central London here. So if you want to go into town and enjoy all that has to offer of an evening, that's completely possible. Or you can just enjoy the countryside. Just coming to Old Amersham now. A lovely little town, somewhat spoilt by parked cars. Loads of history here, some amazing buildings. Hotel on the right there, King's Arms, that was used in uh, four weddings and a funeral as one of the, one of the locations. It's not too far from uh, Pinewood Studios here, so quite a lot of uh, on location filming and things go on around these parts. Don't lose this Hyundai. Exhaust is sounding fantastic today as usual, crackling away. Loving the quick shifter. I have to say I've got the uh, quick shifter on the Beamer as well, but the one on the truck really does work well. But, uh, it's been installed really nicely, not by me, but uh, by Nigel up at Chesham, he's done a good job. He just sticks into gear with no effort, it's really nice. Okay, just coming up towards the Chalfonts now. This one is uh, Little Chalfont. A lovely little town, if uh, you can call it a town. It's right on the end of the uh, London Underground Line, so you can get a tube train from here into central London. It's basically, this little parade of shops, got some nice little uh, restaurants and so on. And then up here on the left, the underground station. 
and that's it. But uh, what a great place to live if you work in London. Classic commuter town. But of course, all this convenience and loveliness doesn't come cheap. Got to be pretty rich if you want to live there. It's incredible when you go out on a bike, isn't it? You, you get to really experience the environment around you. The thing that's annoying me right now is the driver of this Corsa in front of me, some uh, baseball capped chap, no doubt, is uh, smoking as he's driving. And uh, I'm getting every breath of his uh, smoke-filled lungs is coming back into my face. And I can almost uh, tell what brand of cigarette he's smoking. It's absolutely gross, Phil. I wonder what it's like for the passengers in the back of the car if I'm getting a face full. OK, this is where I depart Smoky Joe and head off the main road in search of more pleasant views. Down here on the right is a pub called the Bedford Arms. It's an absolute sun trap. You see what I mean? I don't know if there'll be people sitting out in the sun. It may or may not be, but uh, a brilliant spot to do it. In fact, there's a few pubs down here. And then here's the Bedford Arms, I think. I was talking about, yeah. People out the front enjoying the sunshine. Why not? And this is just coming to the lovely old village now of Chenies named after the manor house of the same name. Look at these leaves. Absolutely gorgeous. Stunning. The only downside about autumn is the fact that it's signalling winter is around the corner. This season I have little truck with, unless I've got skis on my feet. What a great little machine this street triple is for this lazy bimbling around country lanes natural habitat. Oh. The mammals are in town. So you would have noticed I've uh, mixed the odd sort of face shot in with this video just to um, you know mix it up a bit HD and I feel I have to apologize for my uh, wearing this helmet on this bike uh, normally I'd be in a, something a bit more sporty this is my RA Tour X4 that I usually wear on the uh, either on the little Honda dirt bike or on my GS not normally on my street triple merely only done because I grabbed it quickly and it already had the camera mounted on it because uh, I wanted to bring you out on this little trip Otherwise, I would have had the other helmet. So, apologies for my style mistake. So, this is uh, Chesham Town Centre proper. If you've never been, I wouldn't put it on your uh, must visit list. But it's pleasant enough. A cafe culture going on today. A continental. Old Chesham, or I call it Old Chesham. Another spot that's been used in quite a number of movies in its time, most recent being The Imitation Game. Just up on the right is where uh, the stars of that film, whose names escape me momentarily, but I'm sure will come back to me just after I turn the camera off. And, uh, quite a number of scenes. Rovers trying to have a race. I'm not going to go for it. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. Why is it quite happy to slow down for that horse lady? Blighty is uh, at best unpredictable. So when it's like this, you just got to get on the bike. So thoroughly enjoyed my little Saturday afternoon bimble today. Hope it's been of some interest to you. No particular subject, just a bit of a ramble really. 
but uh, lovely this time of year, checking out those autumn leaves. And look forward to speaking to you next time. Until then, this has been the Missenden Flyer. Cheerio. the most uh, unappropriately named place in Great Missenden. This is called Grimm's Hill. If you ever come down here, just check out some of the houses. They are anything but grim. Yep, that would do. Yep, that would do. That would do. Even that would do. Sweet home.